The Haunted Palace by Edgar Allan Poe In the greenest of our valleys by good angels tenanted, once a fair and stately palace, radiant palace, reared its head. In the monarch thought's dominion, it stood there. Never seraph spread opinion over fabric half so fair. Banners yellow, glorious and golden, on its roof did float and flow. This, all this, was in the olden time long ago. In every gentle air that dallied in that sweet day, along the ramparts plumed and pallid, a winged odor went away. Wanderers in that happy valley, through two luminous windows, saw spirits moving musically to a lute's well-tuned log. Round about a throne where, sitting, for Ferrogeny, in state his glory well befitting the ruler of the realm was seen, and all with pearl and ruby glowing was the fair palace door through which came flowing, flowing, flowing and sparkling evermore. A troop of echoes whose sweet duty was but to sing in voices of surpassing beauty the wit and wisdom of their king. But evil things in robes of sorrow assailed the monarch's high estate. Ah, let us mourn, for never morrow shall dawn upon him desolate. And round about his home, the glory that blushed and bloomed is but a dim remembered story of the old time entombed. Travelers now within that valley, through the encrimsoned windows, see vast forms that move fantastically to a discordant melody. While, like ghastly rapid river, through the pale door, a hideous throng rush out forever and laugh, but smile no more. 